Before we jump into our video, make sure that you check out our new website, which has all of our real-time inventory on it, and a very intuitive search function that will show you all the 37 millimeter case watches that we have in stock, for example. So check out littletreasury.com. Grand Seiko is getting moving with new releases this year, and since the Snowflake is the best-selling timepiece they have ever made by far, it seems that they have decided to make the Snowflake more accessible and a bit smaller to reach folks that have not decided to get one yet. The watch that we're reviewing today is the SBGX355, which is really the Quartz Snowflake, or the Many Snowflake. Who knows what people will call it? But this piece is almost the exact same as the SBGA211 Snowflake, just four millimeters smaller, and we have a quartz movement and closed case back. It's even titanium, and at a price point that Grand Seiko has used for steel quartz models in the past. So will this be the perfect snowflake that many people have been waiting on the sidelines to pick up, or will you just feel like this is cheapening the original? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once per week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the Summer Blue Omega Aquaterra World Timer, which I love the World Timer itself, but feel the color may be too shocking for some people. And a key function was changed by doing this. You may really love it though, and this is a fantastic World Timer for sure, so check this video out if World Timers are of interest to you. Risk take time, today I'm wearing my Grand Seiko Snowflake SPGA211, which is still, in my opinion, the best Grand Seiko to start with, since it offers all of the best things about Grand Seiko, including the iconic snow texture dial, the spring drive movement, and of course, Zeratsu polished titanium construction. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video, and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. The Grand Seiko SBGX355 Quartz Snowflake has a 36.7 millimeter case width, a 10.6 millimeter thickness, a 44.3 millimeter lug to lug, an 18.7 millimeter lug width, a 30.2 millimeter crystal diameter, and it weighs in at 79.79 grams. The case is made out of Grand Seiko's high intensity titanium, which is 30% lighter than steel and allows for a beautiful finish to be applied. This is the snowflake case with brush finish on the top of the lugs and a bevel of Zeratsu on the edges and more Zeratsu finish on the sides. A non-screw down crown can be found at the three position and it has the GS logo at the tip. The bezel is Zeratsu finished and flows into the Zeratsu bevel at the edge of the case for a seamless look. The sapphire crystal is slightly domed and it sits very slightly above the bezel. The dial is the legendary snowflake dial that represents the snow outside of the Grand Seiko studio in Japan where these pieces are made and which appears to be the exact same rhodium plated brass stamping that they use on the original snowflake, just perhaps cut off at the edges to accommodate the smaller case. The markers are rectangular aside from the 12, 9, and 6, which are more of a rhombus shape, again, just like the original Snowflake. We have a black minute grade going around the edge of the dial. Grand Seiko can be found in black at the top middle portion with the GS logo above it applied in silver tone. The hour and minute hands are Dauphine style and are in silver tone with a blue toned second hand. The date window can be found at the middle right portion with a silver frame, white background, and black numerals. Also, just like the original Snowflake, no loom can be found on this piece as usual with Grand Seiko watches. The case back is closed and has the Grand Seiko lion in the center, and this is a major difference between this and the original since it has an open case back and of course the spring drive. The movement is Grand Seiko's in-house 9F62 caliber, which is a quartz movement that is accurate to 10 seconds per year, and this one is a no-date version. If you aren't familiar, Grand Seiko grows the quartz crystals for use in these and only picks the top performers to actually be used. They call this movement a twin pulse quartz because it actually ticks twice between each second and your naked eye can only see one tick. This delivers a high torque for the large hands, which keeps them all moving precisely. The batteries in these movements typically last for around three years. The bracelet is a standard five-link design and has matte large links with Zeratsu polished smaller links. 
A folding clasp with the GS logo can be found at the end with no micro adjust. The Grand Seiko Quartz Snowflake SBGX355 is part of the standard Grand Seiko Heritage Collection. It's 100 meter water resistant and it can be yours for $3,800. Now for my personal opinion. Well, I have to say, this is a great move on Grand Seiko's part. The Snowflake is, and always will, be what Grand Seiko is known for, and it's the best-selling piece that they make by a large, large margin. The only complaint that I ever hear about it is that it is a 41 millimeter case width, and although it doesn't wear big at all, today's piece is smaller at 37 millimeters, while also opening up this as an option for people who aren't ready to spend $6,200 on a watch. So in my opinion, this makes a lot of sense and fits in the Grand Seiko lineup well. Is it diluting the Snowflake though? Probably not, since the full-size Snowflake is really in a different price point completely and is spring drive with an open case back and a screw down crown. Although these are both 100 meter water resistant still. When I'm wearing this, it really doesn't look or feel much different to me than my full-size Snowflake. Maybe because it looks so similar and feels great on my six and a half inch wrist. Just like the Snowflake, the lightweight just really makes it disappear. I'll go ahead and recommend this piece to anyone who just isn't ready to jump to a Snowflake's price point or just prefers a smaller version or quartz version of the Snowflake. This will be a great first Grand Seiko for many newcomers to the brand or young beginning collectors as well. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like and share with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.